Have you ever wondered about the mysterious connection between the Golden Ratio and the Pyramids of Giza? Welcome to a journey of discovery, where we'll delve into the intriguing link between mathematics, aesthetics, and the ancient marvels of architecture. First, let's unravel the golden thread of our story, the Golden Ratio. This mathematical principle, also known as phi, is a fascinating phenomenon that pervades many aspects of our world. From the spirals of galaxies to the growth patterns of sunflowers, this ratio of approximately 1.618 is found in nature, art, and indeed, architecture. It's a ratio that's been celebrated for its beauty and symmetry, and is believed to contribute to the aesthetic appeal of structures and designs. Now let's shift our gaze to the arid landscapes of Egypt, where the pyramids of Giza majestically rise from the sands. These ancient marvels built over 4,000 years ago are a testament to human ingenuity and architectural prowess. But there's more than meets the eye. It's been suggested that these pyramids, specifically the Great Pyramid of Khufu, were built using the Golden Ratio. This claim has sparked much debate and intrigue among historians, mathematicians, and archaeologists alike. Imagine for a moment the ancient Egyptians over four millennia ago, employing a mathematical principle in their architecture that we, we continue to marvel at today. It's a thought that's as captivating as it is perplexing. But is there any truth to it? Could the golden ratio really be a part of the blueprint for these ancient structures? It's a tantalizing puzzle, one that we're about to delve into. We'll explore the mathematics and geometry behind pyramid construction, examine the prevalence of the golden ratio in various pyramid structures around the world, and investigate recent archaeological findings related to the use of the golden ratio in pyramid design. Now that we've established the players in our intriguing puzzle, we move on to unravel the mathematical principles of pyramid construction. Join us as we continue this journey of discovery, exploring the intersection of mathematics, aesthetics, and the architectural marvels of the ancient world. Building a pyramid is no small feat, especially when you're working with rudimentary tools. So how did the ancient Egyptians manage it? To unlock this mystery, we need to dive into the fascinating world of mathematics and geometry that the Egyptians employed. The cornerstone of pyramid construction lies in the geometric proportions used, particularly the base-to-height ratio and the slope. Picture a pyramid for a moment, the base is a square, each side equal in length. Rising from this base are four triangular faces, each slanting inward to meet at a single point, the apex. The ratio of the base to the height of these triangles is crucial to the pyramid's stability. Now let's talk numbers. The ancient Egyptians used a base-to-height ratio of approximately 8 to 5, resulting in a slope that's roughly 51 degrees. This ratio was not chosen randomly. It was a calculated decision based on the properties of a right-angled triangle. Now where does the golden ratio come in, you ask? Well, if you were to divide the half perimeter of the base by the height of the pyramid, you would get a figure close to 1.618, which is none other than the golden ratio, often symbolized by the Greek letter phi. The golden ratio is a mathematical constant that has been known since antiquity for its aesthetic appeal. It is believed to create shapes and proportions that are pleasing to the eye, and it seems the ancient Egyptians were well aware of this. But the use of the golden ratio in pyramid construction goes beyond aesthetics. It also ensures structural stability and uniformity. By sticking to these proportions, the Egyptians were able to build monuments that have stood the test of time, undeterred by millennia of desert winds and shifting sands. With the mathematical principles under our belt, let's delve into the prevalence of the golden ratio in pyramid structures. As we continue to explore, we'll find that this intriguing number crops up more often than you might think, in places both expected and surprising. The golden ratio doesn't just show up in the pyramids of Giza, it's found in various pyramid structures around the world. The golden ratio, represented by the Greek letter phi, is approximately 1.618, it's a mathematical principle that has been recognized and used for thousands of years, and it's surprisingly prevalent in pyramid architecture across the globe. Take for example the Pyramid of the Sun in Teotihuacan, Mexico. The base of this pyramid is approximately 220 meters long, while its height is roughly 75 meters. If you divide the base by the height, you get a ratio of 2.93, which is very close to twice the golden ratio. And then there's the Pyramid of Cestius in Rome, a peculiar pyramid built during the reign of Emperor Augustus. 
Its base-to-height ratio is also remarkably close to the golden ratio, despite being thousands of miles away from Egypt and built in a completely different era. Even the ancient Mayans seemed to have an appreciation for the golden ratio. The Castillo or Kukulkan Pyramid at Chichen Itza in Mexico is another testament to this. With a base-to-height ratio that aligns closely with the golden ratio, it's clear that this mathematical principle was not exclusive to the Egyptians. And this prevalence isn't just a coincidence. The golden ratio has a unique property. It creates shapes and proportions that are inherently pleasing to the eye. This is why it's used so widely in art and design, even today. In the context of pyramid architecture, the golden ratio contributes to the balance and harmony of the structures. It's a testament to the mathematical prowess of the ancient builders and their understanding of aesthetics and symmetry. From Egypt to Mexico, the golden ratio seems to be a common denominator. But why? Let's explore the history and significance of the golden ratio. The golden ratio, also known as phi, has a rich and fascinating history. This mathematical concept, often represented by the Greek letter phi, has been a subject of interest for over 2,000 years. It was first recorded in ancient Greece, where mathematician Euclid defined it as the division of a line into two parts in such a way that the whole length is to the longer part as the longer part is to the shorter one. This division results in an irrational number, approximately 1.618, which we now know as the golden ratio. But the golden ratio's history extends beyond the realm of mathematics. It has found its way into a multitude of disciplines including art, architecture, and even music. During the Renaissance, artists and architects believed that the golden ratio held the secret to creating aesthetically pleasing works. Leonardo da Vinci, for instance, is said to have used the golden ratio in his iconic painting, The Mona Lisa. This fascination with the golden ratio is not confined to Western cultures. In ancient Egypt, the golden ratio was seen as a symbol of beauty and harmony. Scholars argue that the Great Pyramids of Giza were designed with the golden ratio in mind. This is not surprising considering the ancient Egyptians' profound understanding of mathematics and geometry. In modern times the golden ratio continues to captivate us. It is seen as a mathematical expression of beauty, appearing in nature in the spiral of galaxies, in the proportions of the human body, and in the design of everyday objects. It is a concept that transcends time and culture, a universal language of balance and harmony. From the Parthenon to the pyramids, the golden ratio has left its mark. But could it be more than just a mathematical curiosity? Could it be a key to the aesthetic beauty of the pyramids? There's no denying the visual appeal of the pyramids. But could their beauty be a result of the golden ratio? When we gaze upon the timeless majesty of the pyramids, we are moved by more than just their size and grandeur we are also captivated by their harmony and balance. This aesthetic appeal, many believe, could be attributed to the golden ratio. To understand how the golden ratio contributes to the visual appeal of the pyramids, let's delve a little deeper into what the golden ratio is. Essentially, it's a mathematical principle that's found when a line is divided into two parts in such a way that the whole length divided by the longer part is also equal to the longer part divided by the shorter part. This ratio, approximately 1.618, is often denoted by the Greek letter phi. Astoundingly, this ratio is prevalent in many natural phenomena, from the spirals of galaxies to the growth patterns of sunflower seeds. It's a ratio that is inherently pleasing to the human eye, and it's no surprise that ancient architects might have incorporated it into their designs. Consider the Great Pyramid of Giza, for instance. Many researchers believe that its dimensions have been designed around the golden ratio. The height of this pyramid, when multiplied by the golden ratio, closely approximates the length of half its base. This creates a harmonious balance in the structure making it visually appealing. The beauty of the pyramids then, could be seen as a perfect marriage of art and mathematics. The golden ratio, subtly woven into the fabric of these ancient structures, adds an almost mystical allure to their aesthetic appeal. This principle doesn't just apply to the pyramids, it's found in many iconic buildings around the world, from the Parthenon in Greece to the modern skyscrapers of today. Architects continue to use the golden ratio to create structures that are both functional and beautiful. As we've seen, the golden ratio is more than just a mathematical principle. It's a key to understanding the beauty and mystery of the world's most iconic structures. So next time you're marveling at the pyramids, remember the golden ratio and the ancient wisdom it represents.